Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I just want to start off by saying sorry if you guys can hear any birds or lawnmowers or cars or anything throughout this video. I have both my windows open because as per usual when I film it is a very very hot day so I really need the airflow today to pull me down hence why I'm not wearing too much today because it is really really hot. Also I'm trying to figure out my new ring light so if you guys didn't watch my what I got for Christmas video then you guys won't know but my parents gave me a new ring light for Christmas so I'm currently testing it out so let me know what you guys think of the lighting if it looks okay as you guys can see by the title of this video this is going to be my online thrifting tips so I did a video last year for all of my like in-store thrifting tips and I asked you guys in that video if you guys wanted to see an online thrifting tips version and a few of you guys said yes so I thought I would make a video all with my online thrifting tips so if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know I've been thrifting since I was 12. Um, I'm now 23 so I've been thrifting for almost half my life. Most of that has been like physical in-store thrifting but over the past I would say about five years I have been slowly thrifting things from Facebook marketplace and also like Instagram selling pages. Yeah I've definitely learned a lot along the way and bar one thing that I'm still waiting on receiving that I'm in contact with the seller I have received everything that I have ordered. So I've had good experiences so far. I've never lost any money and had an item not come. So, so far so good. I have 10 tips to get through in this video. And yeah, most of these tips will either be suited for Facebook Marketplace, Instagram, thrifting pages, or you could probably even use them for Depop as well, which if you guys don't know what Depop is, it's essentially just like an app that you can like sell clothes on and stuff. Probably even for Trade Me actually, you could probably use these tips. But yeah, I've managed to find a lot of really, really nice pieces and some pieces that I'd actually been looking at full price and I do want to do a video probably towards the end of this month where I just tell you guys like my top purchases that I've bought like online. So without further ado let's jump into this video. So I have written everything down in my trusty YouTube book so again if I'm looking down and not specifically looking at the camera then that is why. My first tip is to don't buy or consider an item on any of these sites if it is just a picture from the website. I am a little bit sketched out when people just use website pictures of items because I personally am not convinced that they have it in their home. If they don't have a picture of them trying it on or a picture of like the item that you want to buy in their house then I yeah I'm not convinced that they have it. I will never ever buy anything on Facebook or Instagram whatever if it is just a picture of the website. If they have a picture of the website plus like a picture of them with the item in their house. Obviously I believe that they have it and are more likely to buy it. My second tip for thrifting online is to keep scrolling. So I have especially found this on Facebook Marketplace. Like when you search for an item and you scroll for a while, usually it kind of starts going into other things that you might like, even if you've searched for a particular thing. If you keep scrolling past those other suggestions, it usually goes back to what you originally searched for and just gives you more options. So for example one of the things that I had been searching for was a ring box for mine and Phil's wedding and I had searched up like wedding ring box and had scrolled, came up with like a few and then it started going into clothing. That's when most people would click off and be like oh they didn't have it but I kept scrolling past the clothing and then it started to go back into ring boxes and I actually scrolled for another couple minutes and then found one that I absolutely fell in love with that I ended up actually purchasing which I will show you guys in a wedding vlog which isn't up but it is coming soon and I wouldn't have found that if I didn't keep scrolling so definitely keep scrolling keep sticking at what you've searched for because yeah there can be things like afterwards or after any ads. My next tip is if you think the price of something is too steep or it's priced too high for what it is, negotiate or save the item. So whether this is for Depop, Instagram, Facebook. So I have definitely come across some listings where I feel like something is priced too much. If I am desperate for the item I will just go ahead and ask the seller if they can do it for like $5-$10 cheaper than what has been advertised and in my experience that has worked out 
great. Um, there was a lady that had priced some Princess Polly jeans at $15, I think, but I asked her if she'd do them for $10, and she said yes. So I ended up saving $5. Not all sellers are happy to negotiate down the price. Um, you can also check in their product description, because sometimes they will say, like, no negotiations. Keep a lookout for especially what they say in the descriptions um, of the items. But a lot of the time, you can negotiate prices down a little bit, or if they are not happy to negotiate, which, again, I've come across, save the item. Because if you really, really like the item and it doesn't sell, a lot of the time sellers will drop the price. So I have definitely, again, come across this where I've saved items that have price dropped or like people have had sales on things and you can get things a little bit cheaper. People that are selling items, they just want them gone. A lot of the time they're not actually doing it to make a profit. If you can get it for like $5 cheaper and they can get rid of the item, it's a win-win. So yeah, it really depends on the type of seller that you are buying from, obviously, but nine times out of ten it will work. <laughs> so this next tip that I have is a little bit controversial but personally I have found this is the best way to online thrift and that is to stick with brands that you know. Quite controversial but for me personally if I'm buying off of Facebook or off of Instagram nine times out of ten I will just stick with brands that I know. That way I know that things are actually going to fit me. I like the quality of the brand and I know that I'm actually going to get wear out of it because sometimes it's hard if you're buying a brand that you don't know because then sizing is very all over the place, especially with women's clothing. By the way, most of these tips are to do with clothing, but you can apply them for like shoes or homewares or whatever. A lot of the time, especially with clothing, sizes vary wherever you go. Some companies run big on sizes, some companies run small. So if you stick with brands that you know, you're more likely to get an accurate fit. But yeah, obviously each to your own. Even if you just research like the brand that you aren't familiar with, look on their website, look at their size guide, um, measure yourself, that's also a good tip. So my next tip is if you can, pick up the item. So obviously you want to proceed with caution with this one here. You don't want to go to anyone's house alone. I am really really bad at this if I'm honest. Especially up here in Auckland like for a while it was just me up here. Um, Phil has actually now moved up which is really cool. So I'll update you guys in like a future vlog down the track of all of the changes that have been happening at the moment. But a lot of the time I would just go and pick things up on my own and yeah it's, it's not the safest thing to do. So if you can take your mum, take your boyfriend, take your girlfriend take your best friend I am very lucky that I've had good experiences so far but you never really know who you're going to meet if you don't know the seller but I find picking things up obviously is a lot easier because a you don't have to pay for postage and b if you are going to actually go and pick something up if it is a clothing or a shoe piece usually the sellers are okay for you to try things on obviously people are a little bit hesitant at the moment just with COVID and everything that's going on but nine times out of ten if you want to go and try something on they will let you come over and try it on so you can actually see how it fits on you. A lot of the time too if you're going to pick something up you can just quite easily hand over cash or you can do a bank transfer there. So if you feel a little bit weird about sending money to someone's bank account if you are there in person with them I find usually it feels a lot safer and it feels a lot easier. I personally will always go and pick things up if I can. So the next tip that I have is kind of specific for Facebook marketplace but that is to search the today's picks and the newest listings section. So the newest listings section you could probably apply to like Trade Me or Depop. But yeah, you can end up finding some really nice things on like the newest listings or the Today's Picks page. That's where I actually found those Princess Polly jeans because they just popped up on the Today's Pick and I was like, oh, I'll take those. And there have been like so many other things that I've bought just because it's popped up randomly. So yeah, definitely don't forget to check those sections before you leave. And obviously if you find items that that are like newly listed. If it's quite like a common thing that people search for, then you're gonna get in first and you're gonna be able to grab the item before other people have had a chance to look at it, essentially. My next tip could be applied to like Trade Me and Facebook and Instagram, probably even Depop as well, and that is to always check out the person's personal Facebook or Instagram, whatever it is. Check out their account, go for a stalk. This is a really good way to kind of get a feel for if someone is a genuine person or not. 
not a lot of the time fake profiles will just have like no profile picture or if they don't have anything about them i won't buy from them if you're on trade me check out their what's it called their rating what if they've got like 100 percent if they've got like 50 percent check out what their rating is because again that's a good way to be able to tell whether people have had good experience with them also check on trade me how long they have been a member for that's a good way to see if the people that you're buying from are genuine and have good quality stuff or not i just want to have that certainty that who i'm buying from is a real person and not just someone that is just going to take my money and run with it essentially but yeah if they don't have a profile picture or if they've got a profile picture but it doesn't say that they live where they're claiming to live or they've just got like no information about them i usually will just kind of steer clear no matter how much i love the item <laughs> the next tip that i have is again something that i let you guys know was a tip in my in-store thrifting and that is to always wash the item before you use it so whether that is like a clothing piece or whether it is a homeware piece or whether it's bedding obviously if it's like shoes it doesn't really matter or if it's like toys whatever just give it like a wipe down or something always give it a clean before you use it you can't be too careful especially with covid everywhere at the moment you just want to make sure you're being safe the only time i usually won't wash an item if i get it second hand is if it's still brand new with the tags on because then it's only someone that's tried it on and then probably hung it in their closet and then decided they're not going to wear it any other time wash before you wear or wash before you use my next tip i feel like goes without saying but that is to make sure you love the item before you purchase it so again this is very similar to like in-store thrifting but when you thrift online you can't return items so if you decide that you don't like the item and you you can't return it essentially and i find a lot of the time with like thrifting on facebook or instagram or depop it is a lot more money than if you were just buying something in like an op shop so usually in op shops things will be like five to ten dollars on facebook and like depop even trade me um and instagram especially things are like 15 20 30 35 40 50 dollars secondhand so you really want to make sure that you actually love the item otherwise you're just wasting money i know with um the stuff that i've bought on facebook a lot of the time it is branded things or it is things that i have been looking to buy full price but i've done a, a search to see if i can find it secondhand first so a lot of the things that like I will buy on Facebook or Instagram I've thought over especially because I am dropping a little bit more money and then my last tip that I have for you guys is to be specific if you are searching for something in particular and if you are just scrolling just see what you can find use words such as bulk or assorted so if i am searching for something in particular for example like i just picked up some pink converse off of facebook marketplace i showed you guys them in my previous thrift haul i was very specific when i was searching for them like i would search pink high top converse size 7 because i'm a size 7 otherwise you end up getting things that like you're not looking for or things that aren't in the color that you want or things that aren't in your size like if i'm looking for like a certain princess poly item i will search like princess poly top or if it's like a particular style I will search like Princess Polly and then the name of something like I've been trying to find some Mi Piachi boots on Facebook that I really wanted last season but I didn't get in in time to get them so far I haven't found anything but I'm sure it will come up but yeah if you aren't looking for anything particular definitely use words like bulk or assorted so like bulk clothing size 10 or assorted clothing or like assorted glassons clothing whatever it is because then it helps to kind of give you a lot of suggestions with like a lot of different things so like a lot of the time people just like they won't chuck things up as like individual listings they'll just do like bulk clothing and you'll have like 10 items that you can swipe through instagram it's a little bit harder because i feel like it is more of like the one one item that is put up yeah it, it does get a little bit harder with instagram i haven't bought as much off of instagram as i have off of facebook marketplace instagram things always sell really really quickly so if you want something make sure you're like there when it drops to inquire about it essentially so there we go guys those are all of my tips for online thrifting but this video could have been a little bit shorter so hopefully you guys don't mind i know i have been putting up some slightly longer videos recently and yeah hopefully this has given you guys some tips and some pointers if you struggle to find things online or if you have been too scared to thrift things online because i know that online shopping can be a little bit 
bit scary because of the whole sizing and postage and everything. But yeah, let me know down below what you guys have thrifted online, what's been your favourite thing. I'll do like a video in the future where I let you guys know my favourite things that I have online thrifted. But I absolutely love thrifting. It's a great way to get so much more for your money. It's way more environmentally friendly and a great way of sustainable shopping. And you can find some really, really nice pieces that you either wouldn't be able to find in store or pieces that you can get in store but obviously for a lower price which is great and yeah if you guys missed my in-store thrifting tips I will leave that video down below and if you guys want to watch any more of my thrifting videos then I will leave that playlist down below and in the eye for you guys as well because so I literally have so many on my channel at this point and there will be more coming this year please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already a good half the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed to me so if that is you watching today please subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me i'm trying to hit 1k got a lot of exciting content coming and i will see you guys in my next video bye